Um, so this morning I was like doing poems and I just happened to be in front of like the Trump International Building, which was really, really interesting because they had a globe and the globe was bigger than me, but like it didn't have all the countries on it. And isn't that hilarious? How like I've seen globes my size that find a way to fit them all in. But this one decided some of them are like too tiny to even be countries. Um, so I am from a small insignificant island on the world map. It is a scar floating in the Caribbean Sea. My island is a piano dancing in floodwaters. Her children learn to bathe in every tragedy. What good is a massacre that does not clean a body? We do not bury our children until we have made them beautiful again. I am now miles away and have learned to mourn in a new language. Marching for boys, my same color of don't belong, silent moments for girls, dark enough for America to happen to them too. My mother has enough grief for a language of her own. She could either speak things into existence or into the water. She has washed and buried enough children to know that cleanliness is close to godliness. Her children came into this world bloody, and because of this, she had to clean us. She sees other people's children leaving this world bloody, and because of this, she has to clean us. She tells me that nothing good happens after dark, and I'm not sure if that is a warning or a brown paper bag test. She once bought a picture frame. It came with a template photo of a beautiful white couple, so she hung it as is in the room that she prays along with all the other family photos. And in that moment, she is washing us clean. After all, a photo is just something that starts off dark, negative, that you can drown until it is beautiful and clean. She reminds us that we are only as beautiful as all of the boats that have docked into our bloodline, and I'm not sure if she's washing us from death or for it. News from back home folds my mother's tongue into a whisper with no translation. I'm glad I don't understand. And in that moment, closed captions turn into a closed casket. What is the point of speaking two languages if all it does is give you more ways to say dead in black? My tongue becomes a borderless cemetery. I have bodies to bury in both languages. I have ghosts trapped in my mouth. An accent is just one language haunting another, and I'm trying my best to keep this island of scars from falling out of my mouth most days. No point in being visited by ghosts that you need a translator for. My mother tells me that I was in her dream last night. And I ask her, which language was I speaking? But I mean to say, which picture do you look at when you pray? She tells me that a family friend died back home and I search her jaw for a back alley into her pain. I know that if I show her my scars, she'll show me hers, but I don't speak that language anymore. And that too is a massacre that I am bathing in. I ask her, how's Haiti? She says, it's clean. Yeah. <laughs>